Takashi69 has been taking over the rap industry once again and it did not take him very long at all. After being locked up for almost two years and coming out to the success that he has already had so quickly, it puts 6 ix name back on the map more trending than ever. He has already released three songs since being free and none of them were disappointments as far as numbers go. Yaya was his most recent release but unfortunately it will also be his last due to the big mistakes that 6 9 has been making which seem to have finally caught up to him. Things are not looking good for 6 9 right now and we will show you why in today's video so stay tuned you will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did like 6 9s new song Yaya and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11 then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now 6 9 has been back home for a little over 3 months and he is supposed to be completely free once his house arrest is set to end on August 1st which is only a couple weeks away. After 2 years in prison and a lot of snitching, 6 9 is on the home stretch to officially being free, technically not completely free because he will be on supervised release for about 5 years but he will still be free to leave his house and go wherever he wants to go with a lot less restrictions. 6 9 being free will have many benefits for him like being able to shoot music videos somewhere other than his house and now he will be able to work with other artists on songs if he has artists that will work with him which it seems like he will but it also does come with a lot of risk due to the fact that 6 9 might be one of the most hated people alive with a long list of enemies that will definitely be looking for him while he is released. Especially since 6 9 said that he will be moving around. He makes it seem like he's not too worried at all. He told his fans that picture the noise that he's going to make when he's on the outside. He claims that his ankle monitor once it's off he will be back in the streets. He does have plans for security though after he said that he will be hiring 22 former law enforcement officers as 24 hour security and he also said that he will be transported around town in 5 bulletproof SUVs. At least he knows that he will be in danger but who knows how serious he will take all of this. He's pretty much felt untouchable his entire career. He does seem to be excited and ready to be moving around but regardless of his safety the problem for 6 9 is that he might not be getting the freedom that he thinks he's gonna get after all of the mistakes he made while still being on house arrest. During 6 9s release he vowed to only use his social media to promote his music and not go back to trolling and starting beef with other rappers. Clearly though as we have all seen he did not stick to that vow. It was made very clear that all of 6 9s social media activity is being watched very closely and he has not been very smart about certain things that he has done on Instagram live. He has already gone back and forth with so many rappers and he has been constantly starting problems and this went on for most of his house arrest. And every time that he dropped a song and got more attention, his online trolling got that much worse and there were a few times where he pushed it very very far. This is a bad look for 6 9 in the eyes of the judge who released him early because it makes 6 9 look like he could get away with anything. And so far since he has not gotten in trouble for any of this, many people think that it's not going to affect him, 6 9 probably assumes the same thing. But the thing is, is right before 6 9 is put off house arrest officially, he will have a court hearing which might not go the way he plans. This trolling will be coming out during the hearing and with how far 6 9 took it and the things he said, this could definitely affect his situation and could be putting an end to his freedom depending on how they decide to react to it. Also 6 9 recently went dark on social media. It is said that his lawyer told him to do this for concern for his safety with information being mistakenly leaked that could give away his whereabouts. There were also rumors saying that he did this because he didn't reach a certain spot on the billboards with Yaya. Obviously that's just rumors that doesn't seem to be very logical at all. But regardless if his social media is dark now or not, his Instagram videos of him trolling in the past while still on lockup will be coming out during this hearing and it could be a huge factor in their decision. Either way it turns out for 6 9 he will have to move very very smart if he wants to continue having a career because he will be watched for the next 5 years and he will also be hunted by a lot of enemies if he does decide to move about all around town. We will have to see how things unfold and wait for new updates to be revealed which will be coming to the light very very shortly. 
With that being said, I am gonna end the video here. I do wanna know what you think about this situation. Do you think that 6 9 is in the clear or do you think that his trolling will become a problem for him during this hearing? There are a lot of up and downs on this. Him and his lawyer seem like they are pretty official that they're gonna be let free. But like I said, this will be coming up during the hearing and who knows how they decide to react to it. So let me know what you think is gonna happen. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6ix9ine. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.